Right, so, okay, moving on moment. This is probably a repeated question. Used for good, why are there some hadith that seem to be against it? Sure, it is a repeated question. I have got some detailed videos on music. You can watch them. Um, yeah, and there's, you know, there's, there's both camps. There's those people who feel music is haram. They've got their evidences. Those people who feel it isn't haram, they've got their evidences. It's entirely up to people, you know. There's not... Um, what I would say is not about imposing if you follow that group of ulama and they may be the majority technically, they, you know, from a uh, quantitative perspective. So if you follow them, they say this is haram, that's the scholars you follow, that's what you believe, then fine, practice that, it's your devotion. There's other people who don't feel music is haram. They've, you know, written loads of things on it. Ibn Hazm's written on it. Imam Shawkani's written on it. Sheikh Abdul Ghani and Nabulusi's written on it. Um, you've got many people. Uh, Abu Bakr ibn Arabi in his ahkam, I believe, speaks on it. Many people have spoken on music. It's an old age, old kind of nothing new. Um, some people feel every single musical instrument is haram. Some people feel no. Some musical instruments are okay, the rest are haram, drums are okay, percussion instruments are okay, but, um, you know, wind instruments or, or kind of like um, string instruments are haram. Some people feel, no, well, some, uh, you know, wind instruments are okay, um, maybe just string instruments are haram. Some people feel no instruments are haram, there's nothing, you know, there's, there's this diversity, and that is the beautiful diversity of Islam and so whatever people follow and people will have their evidences so you'll have some people evidence for that some people evidence for that some people evidence for this some people evidence for that so, so I hope that kind of helps you know I, I really find these discussions tiring you know because I'm you know I played a clip a while ago here um, of uh, it was let me see is it still here um, and, and that when I was studying with uh, Maulana Abdullah Mantiki Saab um, in Karachi, it's what like 22 years ago, 20 you know, 21 years ago, 20 years ago. At that time, I was studying this and researching it, and you know, so interested and two decades have been since then i've lived probably many lifetimes since then <laughs> you know it's like i find it really silly and childlike still these discussions it's like you need to i think if you're still obsessed about these questions sure i mean you can have an approach you follow this opinion you follow that opinion you follow that opinion you follow that whichever one you follow Whatever you follow, more power to you. It's your life, live it. You know, you want to follow its haram, follow its haram. Wonderful. You know, I, I will not tell you that it's not haram. I would not simply bother. It's nothing to do with me. So, but I find it so childlike, these discussions, that it's like, hey, people, are you still talking about this? It's like, well, what are we like? You know, it's like somebody, I don't know, talking about cartoons. And, and as in, you just don't have that passion for them. <laughs> you know, maybe when you were a kid, you did. But I guess you kind of grow up and you go through life. And, and I think this is indicative that if you find yourself obsessed with these things, then maybe it's a sign that, you know, you need to grow up. Sure, and that doesn't mean I'm not trying to knock people for their opinion. You know, you can have that opinion. You can have any one of these opinions. They're all opinions at the end of the day. <laughs> you know, well, his opinion, that, sure, and if you want to research it, you can research it, but you're never going to truly, I don't know, maybe some people will get a deeper grasp, but they need to learn a lot to get a deeper grasp. Cool. Okay, let's move on. Right, okay, so mm -hmm. somebody said Pakistanis say music.
uh, say it's haram. Uh, yeah, I'm sure many Pakistanis do say it's haram. Others don't. I think you usually find uh, some scholars in Pakistan, I believe, uh, usually of the of the Brailvi inclination. Uh, Pir Karam Shah Saab, I believe in his tafsir, I believe argued it wasn't haram. I um, went to Pir Karam Shah Saab's madrasa as well in Islamabad. Was, you know, he was a wonderful scholar of, of the whole Indian subcontinent. He was an Al-Azhar graduate and also uh, became a, um, I believe, a judge within Pakistan for the kind of Sharia side of things. And he has a tafsir of the Qur'an. I believe it's called Ziya al-Qur'an, like Ziya al-Qur'an. And uh, from what I recall, I, I could, uh, if I'm correct, that he didn't believe it's haram and he writes in there it's not haram. And there are several ulama in Pakistan that argue it's not haram because they've had a long tradition of people for a thousand years in India and that have not believed it's haram. And you have the Qawali and you have all of this. And, and then there's other people who believe it's haram. And they, you know, they have their tradition and they have the. Why do we have to win other people? Why is this a, like like a voting system? You know, it's like, like imagine I feel eating vitamins is necessary. Which I kind of do. I, I I I eat vitamins and kind of all the minerals and amino acids, and I'm very uh, like a junkie on these things. And I, like I go to the gym regularly and I eat these things. So to me, on a personal basis, this is like obligatory. I have to do this. But sure, if you're a friend of mine, you ask me, I might tell you, yeah, I think this is epic. You should take this. You know, you should take glutamine or you should take this or you should take that but if you don't take it you don't take it like let's say you somebody plays sports and they love sports they love football love cricket it's their life but the other person doesn't love it like they don't have to think well i have to for me to love it the whole world must love it i have to convince everyone first <laughs> i mean if you if you believe it if you believe in it do it i mean what what's the problem you don't need other people to hold your hand. And if somebody doesn't believe in it, they don't believe in it. <laughs> you know, what the hell? What's it got to do? You know, it's not your job to be trying to force other people. So, yeah.